Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul again. Uh, okay, so day 17 of my work with Anak Moore and Eglish Regeneration Scheme in Northern Ireland. Uh, and I thought I'd go back to the 1980s. This is one of my favourite uh, periods of time. I was born in the 70s but grew up uh, very much in the 80s. Uh, loving films like Ghostbusters and Star Wars, the first Star Wars films. One of my favourites was uh, the Gremlins, uh, Gremlins 1 and Gremlins 2 particularly. Um, and uh, I'm going to draw, going back to the art of Christopher Aminga uh, that we've done a few times in, in uh, a few videos across the 104 videos that I've, I've got on my YouTube channel. Uh, love Christopher Aminga's artwork and he's uh, mainly a DC, uh, DC Comics artist. Um, so uh, this is uh, Mowgli, Mowgli, uh, that uh, obviously you don't want to get wet um, and they become, obviously they become gremlins in the film. Um, so I thought on this piece uh, of uh, plain uh, A3 um, sketch pad paper that I'd do some, nine, some of my favorite kind of cartoon characters and film, iconic film um, characters from the 19, 80s maybe into the 1990s but probably the 1980s so I'm thinking about things like He-Man, um, Battlestar Galactica, one of my favourites uh, growing up and uh, obviously Gremlins and Goonies and things like that. I've had a request for um, for a little bit of Stranger Things art from one of the um, one of the members of the Anak Moore Regeneration Group um, so um, Kaylin uh, Rickards asked for uh, something from Stranger Things, so I'll try and do that tomorrow. Uh, but tonight I'm going to have a go at um, Mowgli, or Mowgli, um, I think that's correct, uh, the name of the character. Anyway, they turn into gremlins in the film. Okay, um, So, let's have a go at this. My daughter's got one of, uh, one of these upstairs in her bedroom, actually. Uh, not a real one, uh, a teddy bear. I bought it one year, she couldn't understand why I bought it for her, I don't think. Now the ears are a bit like Yoda's ears, okay? So we're going to start with uh, its left ear, it's facing the camera. Um, and this is the top of the ear. Okay, and we're going to go over this with a fine line, but not a black one. I'm going to go around with a brown one, I've got, I've got a brown one as well. Um, so if you haven't got a brown fine liner, which you probably won't have, you can just use a, a pencil crane if you want to go over the, the pencil lines. So the ear kind of does this, and then we've got lots of hair in between, okay? Um, so we've got, we're going to leave a little bit of uh, room for a bit of hair, um, a couple of uh, strands of hair here, um, and then it goes... This is nice and light because we're going to go over it in brown. Okay. And go down to the face, which is like this. This is an arm down here. So we're just going to go down the arm to this section here which is the body it's gonna come in okay and then his feet so that's as big as we're going to make it it's got quite a big head and quite a small body okay so uh, from here we're gonna do the other ear and you want to what you want to do is try and bring it a little bit lower because it's got a bit more of a floppy ear on this side uh, and it curves over a bit more Okay, so this goes right down. If you hear the noise in the background, that's my, just when I'm in the kitchen. That's just my dishwasher that's uh, that's on at the moment. So bear with me for the sound. Sounds like the waves crashing in sometimes. Okay, so again we've got head coming round like this. It won't look like him at the moment currently but it will do eventually. Okay. Um, so we've got the 
the basics of the character now. We just need to do this other arm. And we'll try and take it down to the same level. Like this. And we've got a little bit more of a tummy on this side. And then we've got the foot like this. Okay. So. Um, just need to put the mouth in. So from here, the mouth is going to go. It's going to go up like this. So there, we've got a very funny little nose. Like this, and then this is going to be kind of fleshy coloured down to there. And then we've got a strange little smile on his mouth, on his face, so it goes down, bends a little bit up in the middle, and comes down again, and up again. Okay, now the bottom of his lip, the bottom lip, goes down, it's quite a bit of a point, and it goes in goes down again and up like that okay um, and then we've got just the hair coming in underneath All right. so eyes wise Amingas art is famous for having enormous eyes so we're gonna put some huge eyes in here um, now the eyes go almost to this edge okay they almost touch this here and they go right round like this. So we've got the roundness of the eye comes in and it tucks into here. It's not quite circular this actually. Um, it's not that far off. Okay, so that's what happens with one eye, and then the other one is a little bit smaller actually. This side, okay, it's a cartoon really. This is, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's a drawing of the film, so it doesn't matter that the eyes aren't the same size. Uh, and Minga's art, he doesn't normally put pupils, not very rarely puts pupils in in um, his artwork okay um, so we just need to now create the um, we'll put the hands in so we've got a knuckle here like that and then another one goes down wraps around here like this and it goes in there Okay, so um, tummy wise, level with this hair here, we're going to go down and we're going around here, like this, okay, um, and the legs are quite stumpy, so Three big nails, almost like an elephant's nails on his feet, okay. So we've got one there, one here, flat flattish at the bottom, and then another one. Like that. Okay. So we'll put some detail on that later. Alright. And so we've got one nail here, little gap. Flattish nail here, triangular, and we've got almost a circular one here. Okay, uh, and that's pretty much it. Okay, now what we can do is go straight into the colour. So, what I've done is I've got some some pinks. Um, move the pencils away. Don't need the pencils anymore very much. 
and put some pinks to work through his ears. Three different shades of pink. Um, got three different shades of, actually four different shades of brown. This is a very, very light brown here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I've got all yellow for his eyes, inside these eyes. A bit of grey, silvery grey. And then we've got two different shades of fine liner, which are Stabilo fine liners. Okay, so if you haven't got pencil grains, you could use felt tips if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to go for um, the lighter of the browns, kind of mid-brown. Okay, and I'm just going to colour in behind this eye. Okay, and there's a good reason for this. I'm going to leave some of this. There's hair over the top, which is darker. Okay, so all I'm going to do is colour in that bit there. And then I'm going to colour some of his cheek in there. Okay. Um, yeah, and so there's a, good, there's a good reason for this now. Because when I go over it, layer it with a... a darker brown like this it's almost like a reddy brown this is and Ming has done this with very it's kind of a, a very red red brown okay um, what you want to do when you go over the top is leave some of that gap showing if you can so I'm doing lines down then at these corners you're going to have um, the hair going up. Now we colour some of this in completely, but you're going to leave some of it so it looks like hair. All right. Now across the middle, you're going to take it down to his nose, and then this side is much darker. Okay. Around the outside of his nose, around the outside of his eye. Okay. But we're going to leave some gaps where that lighter brown is. Okay. I'm going to have some hair coming. What you want to do is try and bring the hair around this direction from top to bottom. Curve it round. Suggests that the face is roundish. Okay. And then we're darker again down here. Much darker here. Okay. And we've just got a couple of brown stripes down his arm and then we've got a darker section here but it doesn't go all the way down to his tummy okay so hopefully you can see that the, the colour is building up now okay so that's what I want you to try and achieve if you can just try and build in some colour some different lines, some different shapes. Press down hard on your paper sometimes and soft at other times so you get this hair effect. Okay, we're going to bring a little bit of hair out here. We're going to have one line going up into his ear. Okay, um, and yeah, that's really about all I want to do with that, that hair there. What we need to do is just take this up and over the top. Okay, and then we're going to bring in some hairs on this top edge here. Like this. If you look back at my, uh, I've done one earlier on in the month, uh, uh, um, right at the beginning. Um, it's about, yeah, about a month ago now. I did a hairy cow. I've had quite a few views on that now, on that video. But if you see like a Highland cow, really brightly coloured one. That's the way that I've actually done this. I've done the same thing on that one. Okay, and it's just building up these stripes. Now, what you need to do is try and bring in a darker line across there. Okay, and maybe one or two more around that eye there. Okay, so it's really quite dark around his eye. So you can go over that pencil with that brown and it darkens it almost to black because you've already gone over it with a pencil. Okay, so that's what you want to try and achieve there with the with the shading. All right. You could go even redder with this um, if you wanted to with this character. Okay, but we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, uh, and then on this side, 
we've just got a little bit of hair, brown hair, same colour, same brown, round his, um, round his chin, under this, under this eye, bit more here, okay, um, and a little bit under here, so it's nice and dark in this area here, and it's going to again make this brown line down his leg, down his tummy, okay, um, just got a few brown sections here, Let's see if we can bring some lines through, don't want it too neat and tidy, it needs to look like hair, some of them going in different directions if you can, okay, um, and yeah, that's that's really what, what we need to be working towards. The other brown, lighter brown, is just going to bring some of this hair through this kind of, it's got like almost like a sleeve or a collar of hair, okay, just bring a little bit of that brown across like that, and then back to the darker brown, because we want a darker brown line around the bottom of his eye here. Okay, and then we're going to go a lighter brown around the top edge. That's what we're going to do there, okay. Um, hair across the top, um, we've got a few darker sections of hair, almost like individual hairs here, across the top, and then it goes like this, okay, and then we've, we've run a, a line across the top there, alright, that's it, okay, so now I'm going to go to the pinks for a minute, um, I'm going to go to this peachy pink first, um, I'm going to bring some peach and leave some white as well. Um, so we're going to leave a section of white in the middle of this. This is the flappy bit at the top of his ear. Okay, and then we're going to bring a little bit darker pink over the top of this in a minute. Okay, a little bit white. A little bit of pink shading across. It's actually grey at the top here. Okay, nice and pink here. The inside of that uh, ear there, a bit darker towards the bottom. Okay, that's what, we, that's what we're going for, okay? So we're going to bring some darker sections through this here. Okay, so same pink, same pink. Um, just missed out on a little bit of uh, lighter brown down here. So just a few lines now. Connect this to the bottom bit, okay? Um, and then we're going to go the same pink again. But we're just going to bring this across the top this time. Okay. And then bring it across from the bottom. So it's two different directions of your pencil. A bit of pink around the top edge. Lighter towards the end. Okay. We're going to go darker on the inside of this. So press down harder on your pencil. A little bit of light lighter through the middle here, so darker on the outside edge, and then as you're coming across, nice and light, okay, so we're going to go over this in a minute with a little splash of grey, okay, now, much, much lighter brown now, okay, it's almost like a yellowy brown, we're going to go across the top of there, okay, and we're going to go over that pink and darken it up here. Okay, same again, we're going to do this, it's almost like a fleshy, you know, like if you've, I don't know if you um, fall in a puddle, your skin would just go a little bit uh, muddy, it's the kind of effect that we want to try and achieve there, okay, a little bit of brownish over the top of that one. Okay, um, 
and that's it's looking pretty good. Um, so back to the pink, we're going to put his toes in a bit of pink, like this. Okay, this one's going to stay a little bit more whiter. All right, there we are. And the back in one, hardly any pink on that. Uh, his hands are going to be pinkish, but you want them nice and light. Okay, same again on this side. But we're going to miss this inside section. We're going to keep that white. There we are. Um, his face, pinkish on his nose. Um, pinker under here. Um, and then a bit lighter across this side. So hardly any, any pink there, okay. Almost leave it as white. And then we're going underneath here. Now we're, what I want to do is just a bit darker pink here, so I've got a darker pink that I'm pulling in underneath this lip here, a bit more around this edge there, okay. Um, that's about it, apart from a little bit of yellow around the outside. Now what you want to do, what Aminga does, Christopher Aminga, he brings yellow around the outside edge sometimes, nice and loose like that. Okay, and he's just got a little bit of yellow on the inside of that one there. That's it. So I've got quite a nice uh, bright like lemony yellow there. Okay, um, now all I do now is I'd go around this with a brown. Okay, um, and we're going to put a little bit of grey in there as well. So I'm going to go around this outside edge, picking out some of these find the details here. So this is using a Stabilo 0.88 fine liner. You can get a big pack of these off Amazon. Reasonable price. Um, or you can just go for the black ones if you prefer. Um, so we're now just bringing in nice and loose underneath this Get rid of that um, pencil line underneath here as well. Bring in the actual um, brownness of the of the character on the outside edge. I'm using a light brown here. And Mingus Art sometimes uses a darker brown to go around the edge. I think he probably uses a pencil crane. Um, these are just sketches he does. A lot of his art is on a website called Deviant Art. If you're interested in lots of different styles of art, there's lots of artists that are putting their work on a website called Deviant Art, and they sell T-shirts and all sorts with their artwork on. I've got all of my artwork on uh, a website called Redbubble, um, where you can order my artwork and all different products. And you can order uh, T-shirts or mugs, travel mugs, that kind of thing just ordered some pillows of my own artwork and one of my daughter's pieces of art that she's just done from our back garden in there on the on the sofa. Okay, so um, a little bit of grey now and then we're pretty much done. Okay, so we want grey on the inside of this leg here, a little bit of grey under this tummy here, okay, a few grey marks here, all right, uh, a little bit of grey around the outside now. Um, grey through this arm, okay, greyer through this arm here, a lot darker that one is on that side, and then we've got some grey bits underneath his eye here, okay, and up this, up this edge, okay, across the top here, and then we've got a few lines of grey to the top of the eye there, alright, uh, a little bit of grey work here, Okay, and then a little bit in his chin, just to give the chin a bit of a definition. Okay, and then we've got a tiny bit of grey in here. Um, we've got a little bit of grey across his tummy there. Okay, so to make it look like he stood on something, I'm going to try and get the shape of his ears here. Okay, bring in this grey underneath here and it just sits nicely like that 
darker grey under his feet, where his feet are touching the ground. Okay, darker grey here, and then a little bit lighter on the outside edge. Okay, you don't want that line to be too defined. Okay, that you want to be nice and loose here for his shadow. Okay, and that's basically how he would draw a character from the gremlins. Okay, a little bit of grey around the back there. A bit more here maybe. Okay, one or two lines out. And that's it. Okay, so there is our nod to the art of Christopher Minger. That is his um, interpretation of... Um, the Gremlins character, one of the characters in the Gremlins from the 1980s. Um, so a little bit of grey under here as well, just to give it a bit of uh, a tone underneath. Um, maybe a little bit of grey over the top here as well. Okay, just to give it a bit of shadow. Um, and that is us, us done. Okay, so that's day 17. Hope everybody's well. Have a go with that. Uh, let me know how you get on and um, see you guys very soon. Take care.